What can I do for you, Mr. Ashley? I wonder if you'd be interested in selling your ranch. For what? Well, I work for the Atomic Energy Commission. They're going to build a plant here. Hey guys, Galactic Force Media here today. We're going to be doing a BetterGeiger.com radiation detector review. As you guys know, I originally picked up the Model S1 radiation detector from BetterGeiger.com, but since then, Robert, the owner and creator of BetterGeiger.com, has come out with the Model S2L. The upgrade features a larger crystal, different button layout, gives us more accurate readings, better usability. And I also want to thank Robert for supporting the channel and throwing in some extra goodies on the S2L. We really appreciate it. So let's dive in and ask, why did we upgrade from the S1 to the S2L? Let's check it out, guys. So why would you need a Geiger counter? Well, there are several situations where having one of these could be useful. If you live near a power plant, such as us, just under five miles, or if you work with materials that could be radioactive, it's definitely something you'd want in your toolbox. Even if you collect rocks, some minerals naturally emit radiation, and this would be a cool tool to have to know if you have any isotopes left over in the rocks you're collecting. And of course, if you're just curious about radiation levels in your environment, a Geiger counter can give you peace of mind. This tool may come in handy in all of these situations. So what's different between these two radiation detectors? Well, as you can see, they look the same pretty much. The shape hasn't changed. This one does feel a little heavier. And obviously the buttons, we have the on off, the sound, and then your menu here. Whereas we have power, menu, sound, and then this is for your settings and then you can move through the menu. This also has a much larger crystal inside and picks up radiation a lot faster than this guy does. So the question is, how do these guys work? You have your old Geiger tubes and you have these scintillators, right? So in the case of the S2L, which a lot of this has to do with the S1 as well, when radiation reacts with the scintillator, it generates uh, light bursts and the detector counts them. The intensity of these bursts gives you a more precise idea of radiation levels in the area. So this is a step beyond the simple count method used by traditional Geiger counters. So the larger crystal in the S2L, it means that it's more sensitive, so it can give you better results even in the environments with strong radiation. So whether you're testing your power plant or checking out minerals, the S2L is going to give you faster and more accurate readings than the S1, which the S1, although gives you a reading, it doesn't hit as quickly as it does with the larger crystal in the S2L. So we're gonna do a sample right now and show the differences with our radioactive samples that was given to us by Robert from A Better Geiger. So let's get into that. All right, so we're gonna take out our test samples right now. This is, I'm gonna say it wrong, a, a two a night. And I have two samples right here. I also have a sample of, I believe this is just, just some uranium dust. Again, I'd have to look. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn both of these guys on now. Simple switch. This one has a power button that you hold down. They both load up. So we are going to do a time lapse with our two samples with the UV light. It'll turn a nice greenish blue. But these are two radioactive samples. We're gonna just do a time lapse and we are going to leave them on there. And we're gonna leave them on there for Three minutes. And there you go. So now we're gonna start, see how it's pulling back immediately, and the S1 is slowly pulling back. So this gives you faster, more accurate readings. This is about $50 more than the S1, technically it's the S2 now. The only difference between the S1 and the S2 is the buttons. It's exactly the same crystal for the scintillator. But can't wait to bring this guy out. Again, let me just show you some of the extras and the, the freebies that Robert gave us, and I'm so thankful. Thanks again, Robert. 
So Robert threw in a case. So we're, we were normally putting it in one of our little um, hard shell cases. Now we're gonna throw, throw the other one in here. And he even threw in a Faraday bag. Now, this is, you do not have to use this bag with the device. This was just something extra. So if you are storing it away, again, we're, we're thinking of EMP nuclear fallout here, guys. So this is an extra that Robert threw in. So if I'm gonna do long-term storage, I am going to throw it in here. And again, he did throw us a couple of radioactive samples, which was awesome. And every kit comes with the radiation risk cheat sheet. I'll leave that up there. So if you guys wanna read it, let me see how close we can actually get. And this just kind of tells you um, your dose rate and it does it in micro sieverts and millirem. So you, I'm gonna get this laminated and keep this with the kit in case we ever go into an area that we're going to need it. So this was this is an awesome cheat sheet to have. So that's really it guys. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, again, big shout out to Robert for supporting the channel and giving us some extra goodies. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more reviews and updates on tools like these. Stay safe, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and happy detecting. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.